Hello everyone. Thank you for watching. My name is Demi and I am the artistic director with Imagination Theatre as well as one of the facilitators of our programming. I have Cosmo with me. Hello Cosmo. Hello. Thanks for joining us. So we are going to do a scene today from one of our shows. We have turned totally digital this year and we have done a lot of shows so far with students just from their tablets so that we can adjust to this new virtual programming that we're all um, having to do. So our show that we're gonna show for you now is called Mental Health Matters. And it's a brand new program and it's all about dealing with your emotions in a healthy way, as well as understanding how you feel and also supporting your friends and loved ones through their emotions. And right now that's more important than ever. So we would like to show you a scene. We're gonna have some real students with us in just a moment afterwards for some facilitated dialogue, just like we do in every scene that we have. This scene is about anxiety, and in this first scene, Vanessa's character is in class. Let's watch. All right, students, please put away everything on your desk for your algebra test. Oh no, I'm so bad at algebra. Please make sure you use a pencil. You'll have 10 minutes. Vanessa, is everything okay? Mr. Cosmo, can I please go to the nurse's office? Why? I'm just feeling super nauseous. You are? Yeah. Later, after school. Oh, hey Vanessa, what's up? Oh, hey Cosmo, nothing. Is your knee okay? I saw you fall earlier in gym. I knew everybody was looking at me. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm pretty sure I was the only one that saw. I'm glad you're okay. Anyways, um, did you want to hang out with Steve and I later? We were planning on meeting up at the park and then going over to my place to play some video games. Um, no, that's okay. You sure? Uh, I have a third controller. And we haven't hung out in forever. That's alright, I'm good. I'm just gonna walk home. Okay. Suit yourself. Bye, Vanessa. Bye. Later, at home. How was school today? It was fine. Can you stop playing with your food and start eating it? I am eating. Watch your tone. We have to talk about this weekend. You're going over to your mother's this Friday, and then I'm picking you up Sunday night. It's not going to be the same. I don't want to stay with her. Why not? She's excited to see you. It's been almost two weeks. Yeah, whatever. Vanessa, I know that a divorce can be hard, but I really need you to start trying. Why do I have to try when you and Mom have clearly given up? Excuse me? You need to apologize for that right now. I'm not apologizing, and I'm not eating dinner. All right, so I would like to introduce our friends Noah and Cece to the room. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you both? Um, I'm good. How are you? Awesome. Noah, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? <laughs> Great. I'm excited you're with us. Um, so I, I had a couple questions for you about the scene that you just watched. What did you notice in Vanessa's character in all three scenes, with her body, with her face, with her language? Uh, raise your hand if you want to share what your thoughts are. Yeah, Cece. Um, I think that you could tell that she was feeling like, obviously she was having a bad day and she was kind of like, she didn't want to answer questions or like talk to people or socialize that much. And you could see it in her face through like her expressions. Yeah, you noticed a few things with her face, you said. With her language, she was being antisocial and, and her body language. And she was even being a little irritable, right? Kind of snappy in a bad mood, um, distant from her friend in that middle scene. So in all three scenes, Vanessa's character was experiencing some form of anxiety. And we saw it manifest a few different ways, which Cece helped us point out. And it can show up in a lot of different ways. 
It can show up in our body with our body language. It can show up with a, a physicality. Like in that first scene, she was, she was feeling nauseous. That's totally normal. Raise your hand if you've ever felt nervous or anxious. Yeah, right? right? All of us, of course. Thank you for being honest. It's totally normal to respond to a situation sometimes, especially one that is new for you, with a little bit of nerves. Sometimes though, if you feel overwhelmingly anxious, that those feelings start to take over, right? And in this case, for these three scenes, as we saw, it's very possible Vanessa's character might even have an anxiety disorder, which is actually more common than you might think. In the United States, according to the National Institute of Health, 13 to 18 year olds on average will have an, uh, at least one to three of 13 to 18 year olds will experience anxiety. So that's a pretty high statistic, right? One in three is kind of a lot. Talking to someone about how we feel can offer a lot of insight and it can help our friends feel validated because all of us feel that way. Just curious, Cece or Noah, do you both, do you have something you do to help yourself calm down or help yourself feel less anxious? Is there a practice that you use or something you do to help soothe yourself? Could be anything. It could be like going for a walk, breathing, Noah. So um, sometimes before I take a test and I know I'm gonna, like, I know I'm not too confident about it. I, um, I just pretend like I'm just gonna do amazing at it and that kind of just um, makes me feel a little bit better. I really love that. That's called positive self-talk. So you tell yourself you, you're going to do great. You tell yourself you can. And then is it often times that you actually do great? Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel more confident while taking the test. That's awesome. That's something I think we could all practice. And I love that idea because it's easy to spiral in the opposite way of like you're feeling down and then you start to feel worse and worse. And one thing leads to another and you feel really bad by the end of the day or week. So... I would love to have a uh, Noah, if you don't mind, help us out right now and talk to Cosmo, who is our actor for today. And I know Cosmo was playing the other three characters in that scene. We're gonna have him actually play Vanessa's character, who is the kid with anxiety. So I would like for you to hear Cosmo. He'll start us off and he'll tell us about how he's been feeling antisocial lately, kind of down kind of grumpy, all the things you just saw and heard with Vanessa. And I want you to tell him how you deal with your anxiety and also encourage him that maybe he can go talk to somebody else. Who is an adult you think he could go talk to that you might suggest, Noah? Um, either his parents or um, maybe like a school counselor. Yeah, I love all of those ideas. You could say, maybe you wanna to talk to your parents, maybe your school counselor could help. And that way you can encourage him to have this conversation with someone else. So the first thing I want you to do is just listen to Cosmo and then validate how he feels. Cause we all raised our hand when I said, have you ever felt nervous? We were like, yes. So I tell Cosmo, I hear that you're nervous. I believe you that you were anxious lately. It will validate him and help him feel a little bit better. And then share your ideas of how you deal with your anxiety and maybe offer more help. Sound good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, we'll give you a round of applause to get started. Round of applause in sign language is both hands up and we'll start with Cosmo. I know it's starting to get like dark and gloomy outside, but I don't know. I've just been feeling weird a lot lately. Oh, that stinks. I know. I hate when I get like that. Well, I mean, what do you do? I, I really don't feel like doing anything right now. Do you have somebody you could maybe talk it out with? Maybe like your, your therapist or your school counselor? I haven't actually seen my school counselor yet. I don't even know what his last name is. Oh, well, maybe you could go give him a visit. He'll probably do you some good. Do you mind going with me? I haven't gone to the, even that side of the building of the school ever. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Thank you, Noah. You're a good friend. Awesome job. Let's give Noah a round of applause. Way to go. Thank you. You did such an awesome job of validating Cosmo and hearing him out and offering some more support. I want you all to remember that when we talk about the way that we feel, 
it is a healthy way to cope and it also gives us new perspective because then maybe our friend that we're talking to can let us see it from a different angle and they can offer support that we never thought of ourselves. And a lot of the time in our own head, our anxiety is really stretched and skewed. So if we talk it out to someone we trust, they can challenge our thinking in a healthy way. Thank you so much. And we have more information on our website if you would like to book us for this brand new show. Take care.